So we're going to do student uh, checkup PowerPoint 2-1. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my student checkup PowerPoint 1-3 and then save it to 2-1. Okay, so here is my 1-3. I'm going to go ahead and save it to uh, 2-1. Okay, there we go. So I now saved it to the correct file name. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do with this is uh, we're going to put some transitions in for our slides and then I'm going to also uh, adjust those transitions and then we're going to do some animations as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to select all of our slides here. So I'm going to go ahead and select my first slide by left clicking on it, hold down my shift tab or shift key I should say and then click the last slide. So they're all selected now. You can see they all have borders on them there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a transition. So I, uh, I'm gonna to go to the transition tab here, and then I'm gonna uh, in, select the split transition. So there we go. So that split transition is now on all of them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select off of the the slide. So I'm not going to click on a slide, but I'm just going to click maybe to the right there of the slide. And then I'm going to select all of my even numbered slides. So starting with two, I'm going to select that one. I hit my control tab, select four, and then select six. So that's all my even numbered slides. And then I'm going to go to the effect options right here. And I'm going to select vertical in right there okay so that'll that'll uh, allow me to do my vertical or my split instead of going out splitting out from slide to slide it'll go in for that for those uh, even slides there i'm going to select all my slides again by selecting the first one hitting shift going down and selecting the last slide so there's all my slides selected again now in my timing group here my timing groups over here to the top right of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and change my duration to instead of 1.5 it's going to be 2 and I can do that. I can type it in or I can go ahead and just uh, hit the up and down arrows there as well. So, so that is uh, changing all of the group and I'm going to go ahead and do apply to all there. So they're all going to have that duration. We'll go ahead and click after and then after on the after screen, I'm going to go ahead and move, change this to uh, five right there. So that'll be uh, the settings on that. Uh, the so the uh, in the book it actually has the duration to 2.25. Uh, the instructions there just say to change it to two, and so um, either way it'll be good just to, so you know where that is and how to select it and change it. So either one of those will be good. Now I'm going to go ahead at that at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select my second slide. So I'm going to click off again, right? So no slides are selected, and then I'm going to select the second slide right here, which is my Hell's Canyon recreational area with the four campgrounds there. Then I'm going to go to the animations tab right here. Uh, I'm going to select the body placeholder, which is this down here with the uh, all of the four campgrounds in Hell's Canyon, Copperfield, and McCormick and Woodhead. That whole box right there, I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to apply the fly-in animation to that. And then I'm going to go ahead um, and select slide three. I'm going to go ahead and do again. I'm going to select the body right there and I'm going to um, do the float in. So just so you know, right, so uh, when you do these animations, this is just a side note, you can do it uh, as one object, so it's gonna bring all of them in together, uh, or it's gonna do all at once, right? Or it's gonna do it by paragraph. So that's the default on this, it's gonna be by paragraph, which means that the three dams will come in first, then Brownlee, then Oxbow, then Hell's Canyon, right? So, so that's kind of the order it'll be in. And so that's the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and save my project. 
and I'm going to go ahead and upload it to Canvas. So I uh, hope this video helps. Have a good day and we'll talk to you later.